Amazon Web Services entering the quantum computing race, the tech giant unveiling its first quantum computing chip, dubbed Ocelot, on Thursday. That announcement coming as more names of big tech are entering the space. Joining us now, we've got our own tech editor, Dan Howley. Dan, what can you tell us about the latest quantum news from Amazon? Yeah, this is Amazon's first chip, uh, and it comes after Microsoft obviously announced their own quantum chip. Google uh, announced their quantum chip back in December, so last <laughs> year, I guess. Uh, and really, this is these companies trying to already elbow each other out of you know position and, and try to get the, uh, the lead in quantum computing. Don't, don't forget, by the way, IBM's been doing this forever. I mean, they, they have you know quantum computers uh, of their own, but this is the big tech giants, the big cloud providers trying to get ahead of the, the kind of quantum race um, and, and ensure that they are the leaders. So uh, what we have here with Ocelot is basically a form of correcting uh, issues with quantum computing. Now, uh, not to go too far in the weeds, but the, the big deal with quantum computing is that instead of bits, uh, which classical computers use, those are the ones and zeros that translate into the apps uh, that you see every day and how this is being streamed to you right now, uh, they use qubits, which because of quantum mechanics, rather than being one or zero, exists as both one and zero. So I know it's wild, but because of, of their nature, they're also very fragile, and so they're prone to errors, <clears throat> excuse me, if uh, noise such as uh, you know, other atoms or, or something are introduced uh, into their uh, area. And so this is a form of trying to correct for that to ensure that the qubits don't degrade and the information on them uh, isn't messed with. And so this is what Amazon is pushing when it comes to Ocelot, this ability to correct those errors. Uh, and they're saying that this could help push quantum computing f uh, uh, closer to becoming a reality. Now, that's been a big discussion. When do we see practical quantum computers? I mean, I've been reading articles from 10 years ago that said, they're just around the corner. Uh, Sundar Pichai recently said, uh, five years uh, obviously, Satya Nadella also saying that it'll be closer. NVIDIA's Jensen Wong had said a couple of decades, maybe still. Uh, other, other experts uh, are also torn on where this kind of actually becomes something that you can actually use. But just to give you a broader overview, the, the idea behind quantum is because they use those qubits that can exist as one and zero at the same time, they can complete operations that would take classic computers tens of thousands of years to, to complete in sometimes minutes. So this is this is kind of the, the the future that they see. Dan, real quick, we only have about fifteen seconds, but I'm just curious to get your take. Just the different timelines from some of these larger oh, tech leaders. Yeah. Is that isn't that a bit perplexing? Like how no. how it, they could no no because I remember I mean like you know uh, uh, maybe eight years ago or ten years ago sitting at CES and having Ford be like, tell you what guys, self driving cars five years away. You'll be having a mimosa on your way to work. Well, maybe not on your way to work, but whatever. You know, sitting in the back seat watching a movie, and the car is just going to drive you around all over the place. And I'm still driving around in my Honda, you know, not <laughs> sipping mimosas on the way to work. So it's you know, the companies like to push it. They're going to say that it's going to be faster than maybe it actually is. Get everybody hyped up. I, I don't know. I, I still think that this is quite a ways off, and you know, as far as I can tell. All right, I love the analogy there. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can all relate to, we can all strive for one day. All right, Hallie, thanks. Thank you.